In this third interview, in conjunction with the Dear Truth exhibition, Trevor Paglin was asked one central question, and that is why he chooses to work with photography. He offers a range of entry points, including the role that photography plays when it comes to surveillance, machine vision, and the relationship between the world and the photographic image. So the question for today is, why photography? Um, why is that part of the range of media that I work with. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, I'm somebody who thinks a lot about images, thinks a lot about representations, and photography um, embodies so many of the paradoxes of what images are and how representations work in the sense that they are kind of both real and unreal representations at the same time. They're both representational and allegorical. They're both constructed and um, at the same time motivated by the external world. So there's all these kind of paradoxes in terms of what the relationship is between a photographic image and the world out there, as it were. Photography and mechanical forms of image making are also very often involved with exercises of power, of um, surveying, surveilling, targeting. How are images used to exert power over people and over places in kind of direct and indirect ways? Related to that um, in some ways, but also in distinct from that, are ways in which photographic archives or collections of images are used to classify things, people and places, to codify things, to um, organize, sort, and keep track of things over time. So there is a kind of bureaucratic and often policing apparatus that is uh, very much has to do with um, photography in term and also collections of photography. Another aspect has to do with mechanized vision. Um, so how do we use technologies to make images or to interpret images and how does that affect society? How does that affect culture? How does that affect um, politics? And particularly at this moment when we're seeing things like the really kind of explosions of things like machine learning and computer vision, um, I think about those as being essentially forms of photography, of, of mechanized image making and interpretation. There's always a... a, a, a technical aspects to that, but those technical aspects can never be divorced from the political and social uh, aspects of those technologies and practices. So these are just some of the things that come together in the way that I think about photography, and obviously I think about it in a pretty expanded sense um, that basically just means seeing with machines. And so... That's, there you have it.